Welcome guys, and today I'm going to do a few more exam practice questions uh, for Cisco ICND1 and today we'll be doing IP addressing, so plenty of IP addressing related questions uh, as it says. So we'll start off with uh, 39, so 39 through 1001 questions. <laughs> Which of the following are uh, considered class A addresses? Select all that apply. So when we think there's class A, B, C, D, which are sort of pretty old school, they've been used since 1993, but they're a theoretical construct. And if we have a look, we've got to consider where class A is at. Class A is between 1 and 127. So if we have a look, we have found that B and F, sorry, B and E are between those ranges. And that's the answer. So essentially, if the IP address range is starts from 1 and finishes at 127 for a class A, anything inside those is considered a class A network. For question 40, Sue is reviewing IP addressing basics and asks you which of the following is considered a class A private address. So with this question, a private address and a public address are a bit different. Private is seen by your local network and public is seen by the world, which is a different IP address. So, sort of similar again, we know 192.168.05 is a class C private address and that would be class B private address uh, as C being the answer. So the answer is D here because it's 10. Starting off uh, 10.555.67.99 will be the answer because it starts, it's between the range of 1 and 127. Question 41, what is the default subnet mask of a system with the IP address of 189.34.5.67? In this instance, our number is 189, so that is past the first lot of octets, which makes it a class B. And a class B in terms of subnet masks means that there's two 255s. So the answer will be B, which is two 255s, zero, then zero. And obviously for class C and D, 245s uh, after that. For 42, what is the default subnet masks of a class C address? And uh, pretty much what I was just sort of saying, uh, the answer will be C because there's three lots of 255s. That's uh, essentially how it works. 43, which of the following is a class B private address? So again, we're, what is after class A? It's after 127 but also before 191 or 192, I should say. So if we look at this, the answer looks to be C. A and D would be in a class A, and question B, or answer B is actually C, class C, so the answer should be C. 172.16.45.10. Question 44, are the systems of 201.45.3.56 and 201.45.5.20 on the same network? The answer here is no, and I'll tell you why. So we've got 201 here. So they're both in 201, which is class C, because it's past 192. So that means the first three uh, octets have to be exactly the same for them to be considered in that same network. So the first two are correct, as we can see, 201, 405, but the last one, uh, the second last one, three and five are different. And which therefore makes them different, so the answer is no. For number 45, which of the following addresses are considered invalid addresses to assign to a post on the network? Select all that apply. So what I'll do here is uh, read out the answers and do my explanation. So the answers are C, E and F. So we've got the answers right there. Essentially, you cannot assign an IP address to any system that has all host bits set to ones or all host bits uh, set to zero and you cannot have an IP address where the first octet is 127 because uh, that's actually reserved for loopback purposes. Basically, these are sort of right in the middle of assign assignments of classes and therefore makes them incompatible. Number 46, the decimal number of 137 is which of the following in binary? So let's have a look at how to do binary quickly. So we start here with one, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So you work sort of in powers of 2, starting from here, 1, 2, and then you basically 
double up each time. So looking at that, we know that 128, which is 1, which means it's a yes, basically. We know that one will be correct, and also that is worth 1. There'll be a 1 somewhere else, most likely. 2, 4, 8, so that's 128, 136, 137. So the answer will be A, 128 plus 8 plus 1, which equals 137. 47 are the systems with the IP addresses of 121.56.78.10 at and 121.45.6.88 on the same network. Another interesting question we got here. The answer we have here is a yes. They are on the sort of same network because they're a class A network and they've got the first First, uh, a lot of numbers, well, first octet is the same, 121 is the same as the 121 there. Class A, only one has to be the same, so yes, they are in the same network. For question 48, what is the default subnet mask of 130.56.78.10? So, looking at this, we pass class A, so it'll be a class B because it's past 127 as, as the first octet. And I'm going to say the answer will be B being in the class B network. 49, your system has an IP address of 131.107.45.10. Which of the following systems is on the same network as you? So again, we're gonna look at what class we are in. It is class B because we're past 127 once again. So two, the first two octets have to be exactly the same. And if we look at our list, C looks the most likely, so that is the answer. Question 50, which of the following addresses are considered invalid addresses to assign to a host on network? Select all that apply. Maybe we have private ones, which are home internal local networks, which are generally start off with 10.0.0.0, .0 .0 .0, the, the 10 network. You have the 172 network, you have the 192 network. So. We'll just uh, have a look at our list here, and we'll find that A doesn't look great, D and E. So those addresses there, again, you cannot assign a system IP address that starts with 127 dot whatever. You also cannot have a system where all the host bits are set to 1, uh, which is in the case of A, and all the host bit bits cannot be set, set to 0 either. Again, very iffy. Question 51, the binary number of 01101101 is which of the following decimal values? So let's get our binary hats on again, and there's nothing in 128, so there's nothing. 1 in 64 and 32, so that's 96 automatically added up together. Nothing in 16 and 8, plus 96 equals 104. And we've got another 4 on top of that, which makes 108. Nothing in 2, 1 in 1, so all that added up together it should equal 109. Question 52, which class address always has the value of the first bits in the IP address set to 110? Uh, what we've got to realise here is class C addresses always have the first three bits set to 110. So this uh, means that class C addresses range from 192 to 223. So class C is the answer there. For 53, which class address always has the first two bits of the IP address set to 10? In this instance, class B always has the first two bits set to 10. So they range from 128 to 191. For number 54, which IP address class always has the first bit in the address set to zero? We, in this case, it's class A, which has uh, always has the first bit of the IP address set to zero, which means these ranges from uh, 1 to 127. Class A is the answer there. Hopefully the last couple made a bit of sense. Didn't make a heap of sense to me actually, but uh, that's how it goes. Sometimes you just accept laws as they are. Uh, that's today's little PowerPoint and que practice questions on IP addressing. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like the video, check out my other tutorials and quizzes and all that kind of fancy stuff. That'd be fantastic. The subscribe button's Fantastic as well, so get on to that. Be much appreciated, guys. Uh, thanks for sticking around, and I'll catch you guys all next time.